Hello and welcome to another podcast of Basic Income News. My name is Olga Bobkova. For those who have never heard about basic income, a basic income is an income unconditionally granted to all on an individual basis without means test or work requirement. Basic Income News reports on this idea. It is provided by the Basic Income Earth Network and its affiliates. Here are the main news of last week we reported about. You find the respective links to the articles below. The United States. The article Time for an Economy of, by and for the people, dissident voice issued on the 26th of June 2013 presents an overview of current economic policy and a number of alternative directions we might follow, including a shorter work week at current wage levels, an increase in the minimum wage to reflect increases in productivity and the basic guaranteed income set above the poverty line. The United States in a wide-ranging interview with the anthropologist David Graeber, ideas such as a debt jubilee and basic income guarantee are discussed. According to Graeber, a basic income would allow people to find a valuable occupation of their own choice instead of forcing people to work in increasingly unproductive jobs that exist simply to perpetuate the perception that work is a moral undertaking. Switzerland on the 2nd of October 2013, the French-speaking Swiss radio network RTS devoted a one-hour program to basic income. The broadcast included an interview with Philippe Van Parish, Louvain University, as well as with philosopher Serge Margell, Lausanne University, Julien Dubochet-Corté, Bien, Switzerland, and economist Marco Salvi, Avenir Suisse. The program in French can be heard online on the website of RTS. Switzerland. The video which appeared on the Real News Network presents an exclusive interview with co-founder of the Basic Income Initiative, Anno Schmidt, and includes references to Milton Friedman, Alaska, Namibia, and more. Anno is an artist and author of the film Basic Income, A Cultural Impulse. Europe. European Citizens' Initiative petition on basic income was launched earlier this year. Basic Income Initiative believes in distributing minimum income to all the citizens without conditionality and regardless of the employment. The petition can be signed online by any European Union citizen based on universal suffrage. If the initiative manages to collect 1 million signatures from at least 7 European Union countries, the initiative will be looked upon by the European Parliament. Uganda. The researcher Christopher Blattman investigated the impact of the Ugandan grant program financed through a loan from the World Bank and discovered that it paid huge dividends both for the grant recipients and the communities they belonged to. Though the grants were largely unconditional, with no follow-up to determine how the money was spent, Blattman found that grant recipients learned a trade, started a business or otherwise spent the money responsibly. Croatia, European Union, Slovenia. On the 24th of October, Slovenia joined Croatia to become the second European Union nation reaching the required number of signatures on the Basic Income Initiative in Europe. If the initiative receives 1 million signatures and receives the required level of support in at least seven European Union member nations, the European Union will evaluate a Basic Income Guarantee in Europe. The United Kingdom. The Citizens Income Trust, being affiliate in the United Kingdom, has released the third issue of the 2013 volume of the Citizens Income Newsletter. It contains editorials, news, and nine book reviews. Cyprus. Malcolm Torrey, the director of the Citizens Income Trust, has written an opinion article about means testing in Cyprus. The President of Cyprus has announced the establishment of a guaranteed minimum income, beneficiaries of which will be citizens who have an income below that which can assure them a dignified living. That is, it will be a means-tested and work-tested benefit. Malcolm Torrey believes there are two lessons to be drawn here. One is that means testing is an intuitive default position, even though it is inefficient, costly, socially divisive and entirely unnecessary in the context of a progressive income tax system. 
The second lesson, according to Malcolm Torrey, is that the word guarantee is so ambiguous that advocates of universal benefits should be especially careful to reserve guarantee language for a minimum net income to be reached by means of means-tested benefits and never to use the word in the context of a discussion of universal benefits. If you have any comments or questions on basic income, feel free to leave a message below or contact us via Twitter. Our address is at VI News. If you have news related to basic income, please let us know and we will see if we can use it. There is a link on our website to suggest items. Thanks for listening and hope to see you next time again.